I am Tatar Khan and today we'll be continuing playing Orcs Must Die and trying to get every single level at 5 skulls from the very beginning, from the first time. So, to do so, we need to make sure that we do not die, that we kill all the orcs in a loaded time and that none of the orcs make it through to the rift. So, let's do the next level which is called the stream and off we go. Now, on this level, we are given a new trap. Uh, it's a, it's a basically a trap that lifts orcs up, and uh, they fall down. They, then uh, they, they activate, lifts them up again, and they fall down. It's kind of a way to slow the orcs down and keep them there. But we have a tar trap for that, so I don't really feel the need for this trap here. So now let's look at this um, level. As you can see, we don't have much in terms of uh, ceilings. Well, actually, we do a few here and a few there, and. Um, there's a bit of a ceiling here that we can use for the ceiling traps but it's not really much that we can do we do have these two portals which allow us quickly to move between the sections of the level and we have two balconies here with elven archers already positioned which kind of tells us where we can position the new ones there's also something to be noted that uh, while we have two doors through which the orcs will be coming through here this door is not being breaking broken down right now also by the way if you're wondering why the game is in French it's because I'm practicing my French so that means that we need to really focus on this door at first for now to do so well we're going to go ahead and see first of all who we're going to be facing and we're going to be facing orcs orcs with uh, basically with uh, crossbows different fast running kobolds ogres and for the first time we're going to see a flying enemy since uh, Seeding traps uh, work on flying enemies, but uh, we're not gonna be, you know, be able to place that many of them. Except it's maybe possible to place uh, a few here, like where they're coming out specifically. But uh, given the fact that we don't have that uh, much of a seeding, that means we're gonna have an issue because uh, floor traps or the wall traps don't really do that much uh, against uh, flying enemies, unless they're really flying through you know, very low enough for the, those traps to work on them. So therefore, we need to select. Uh, our traps and and the equipment are appropriate so i'm gonna take the blade stuff as usual just in case we're gonna take the wind uh belt because well we have all these big giant pools of acid where we can throw the orcs into basically blow them into there we're gonna take the tar traps we're gonna take the arrow walls we're gonna take the floor scorchers and we're gonna take the archers the last space we're not gonna take because that was not available at the time when i played the level for the first time here so what else there to note well the fact is that the arrow walls are very useful in this level because orcs will be running this way right so arrow walls will be shooting right at the orcs orcs will also be running from here to here there's a few more arrow walls can be placed here or there because again our orcs are running parallel to this uh, to them to the fire direction of the arrow walls you want to be placed here or here but first of all like i said since we don't know exactly what kind of enemy is going to be coming at us from the very beginning we just need to put in some archers because archers can fire in the air on the ground they're very versatile that way so we're going to put in archers uh, here And we're gonna put in seven. It's possible, I think, to squeeze in eight archers, uh, but we only have money for seven. There you go. Good. So, let's start off. We're gonna put in, uh, we're gonna use the wind belt right now. We're just gonna wait for the orcs to come to us, and we're just gonna blow them into the acid. Now, we don't need to worry about the very first orcs because, well, archers will take care of uh, some of the earlier orcs that are running around here. And the ones that they don't uh, or we cannot go away, are, we can always take care ourselves. And we still need to try to avoid being a hit because, well, help is important. Good. Alright, so now that we have this, first thing, thing we need to do is just in case it works, make it through. We need to start putting up the hour walls that will face them. Right, because uh, so far it didn't been good because, well, you know, there was not that many works. As soon as the number of works coming through will increase, we'll have to do something for it. And 
And now we also get not only uh, we also getting a uh, kind of a issue here because we have uh, flying enemies coming at us also. So we need to divert attention towards them. that the flying aim is uh, down and we headshotting them was pretty much the option uh, that's available to us and let's make sure we're gonna put a few more arvels here and let's wait for the enemies to come through in the meantime i'm gonna drop the half potion we still have boom barrels available throughout the whole level that's uh, very useful in case we ever need them you can always use the boom barrels go back to here oh that's actually the wrong thing to do here because robots are incoming now you're gonna see here the wonderful things that the Arabos can do to the Cobalt. And we're just gonna wait now for the orcs to come through and start up again. Back to the whole strategy of uh, blowing them into the acid. And you don't need to worry much about Cobalt's uh, running through because you do have uh, quite a few archers there that will be able to take care of them. Now we want to still pin them out and kill them off as quickly as possible so that we don't endanger the quiet skulls completion because timing at this level is very much important due to the, how big the level is and how many doors there is and so on it creates an issue and so let's go back here and what we're gonna see is that this door is not being broken through so now orcs will be coming through everywhere through those uh, windows that we see that the flying orcs are coming through and through both doors so we're just going to put up something here to defend because generally those archers and those arrows can hold up whatever's coming through those doors we'll now need to focus on orcs here and we'll be standing here with our wind belt ready to blow the orcs into the acid so once that make it through this trap so they're doing so well uh, pretty much and what I can do is I also can increase the number of orcs by shooting at them so that I don't have to do that. Now the key is here is that the enemy enemies coming through here. I don't need to really worry about the flyers. They will, the archers will take care of them. But the enemy that are coming through here, uh, if there's any enemies that are going through the doors uh, at the back, I need to be aware of them just in case some of them make it and then they you know I get surrounded by orcs who are trying to kind of uh, kill me. And let's help out the archers deal with the flyers now. Because we again we want to keep us deal with enemies as fast as possible. Now good here, let's slow down the orcs even further. Before we as usual we do these dark traps here because the uh, orcs will be slowed down here. But now we can slow them down even more. And back to here. Again, four bolts are fine. As you can see the archers are not always uh, hitting the targets, but the arrow balls and everything else will take care of them. And if some ones do make it through, the, uh, the archers will take care of them on the other side. So let's uh, keep on blowing the works. And uh, gotta be careful again, I don't want to get surrounded by works. There we go, good. Since these orcs are coming through there only so far, and the arrows are doing their job there. And wow, what destructed you know. There you go, got rid of those ones. There, nice. Okay, since some orcs are making through, it makes total sense to start picking up our vaults here. Also, if there is a health potion, I should actually take it. But there is none, so we gotta just kind of uh, hope that we're not gonna get uh, shot at. So, again, let's. Uh, Let's keep uh, our skilled off here. And let's uh, get out of the way here because we've got some uh, archers uh, hitting at us. Which means uh, it's a good time to go to the rift and get help. Back to the wind belt. Because now we're going to need to start dealing with this works. Here comes 
that was a waste of the whole barrel. Alright. So here we are now. Next uh beef is gonna be coming in. Before we do that, let's uh, give us a bit of a help here by adding more archers here. Now if I manage to do a bit more of a If I would have managed to get a bit uh, more headshots, I could have put another archer here, but now we have to stick with 6 instead of 7. That, that usually fit here. So let's go. Again, back to it. Uh, we're gonna stand here, wait for the orcs to come through. And uh, shoot off wherever orcs we can shoot off uh, before they even make it through, because why not? Uh, watch exactly where the other orcs are coming going through so that we don't get surrounded uh, from the back here again, but again like uh, we have a very good situation here uh, but all right let's uh, shoot some of the flying orcs uh, in the meantime so that our archers can focus on the other ones since orcs are coming still making through the defenses here it seems reasonable to put up some traps in this area and then back to it. Let's do this. So, we're gonna be uh, the, let's see if anybody coming through. Yes, some coming through. bit more of a traps here this area and let's go ahead make a run get a bit more help because the way you're standing the works that uh, shoot, uh, crossbows they do have our ability to kind of attack us oh and we get an over now so it's uh, time to focus on headshotting the over good you can grab the coin now and set up another trap here. Another coin again. Which allows us to put up this trap here. And let's focus on the flying enemies here. Good, that's done. There's a few more of those flying enemies. And we want to shoot at them and hopefully get the headshots, but so far nothing. Alright, there you go, 5 skulls. So that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, it's not that easy to do here to get the 5 skulls, but it is possible. The issue, of course, is because it's such a wide space and it works a kind of few different areas, and you need to. You don't have really, again, a good area that they to combine them all, so you have to stretch out the defenses rather than combine them all into one big giant kill spot where you can very much efficiently deal with swords. But they still have uh, some time left. Usually this number is bigger, but this is what it is. Alright, well, thank you for watching and for listening. If you like this video, please like it. If you didn't like it, don't like it. And please uh, subscribe.